Welcome back again to lesson number 2.3, Navigating the Map Canvas. We have looked at the map canvas. Uh, well, it's still a little bit ugly, but we haven't navigated through it yet. I've somehow previewed some of the features like zooming and panning and stuff like that. But let's go through the tools that are at your hand to um, navigate through the map canvas. First of all, the zoom bar or the scale bar. Well, I'm not a, quite a fan of it, so I'm not using it regularly, but of course you can switch through defined set of scales here directly using the drop down. I think you can even type in your very own scale here in that manner. Furthermore, there are the, the basic zoom functions, zoom in and zoom out. So let's use the zoom in function. You can see a single click brings you to the half of the scale. So let's have a look here, 52,000, 26,000 half scale down. And the same functionality if you just do a single click. You can also select a rectangle by click and drag the mouse to the extent you are interested in. So this will be the follow-up extent. Same situation if you go outwards. So the smaller the area, uh, the smaller the zoom out. So let's zoom in a little bit again to our buildings. Sometimes if you select something strange, like let's have a look here, a very detailed view, and you say, well, I would like to have, where are my rivers? Select the rivers and either use the zoom to layer function or right click on the rivers, zoom to layer. Both works the same way as described earlier. Well, now you can see everything, but what, uh, what, what where, maybe you were lost and you don't know where was my last extent. Therefore, there's also a possibility or an option here to go to zoom last that zooms to the last extent you were using. Sometimes it is, well, we are concentrating on different areas. So you're working in, in different cities and different scales and different coordinates. And it's sometimes a little bit hard to navigate through the extents and, and the zooms. And therefore, there's an option to create a spatial bookmark. Go here to new bookmark and say, well, buildings details. What it does, it, of course, saves the current extent as well as the um, as the zoom of course it is the extent and well we will not define any group we'll just save it in the user bookmarks save it there there we are once you have this you can go here to show special bookmarks and there they are there are the project bookmarks and the user bookmarks and here we are so let's go back again to the rivers or let's go to the protected areas layer. There it is, two big polygons and go to the buildings details, double click on it and there we are. So this is a way on how to yeah, work with different scales, different extents and so on. The zoom back and zoom forth functions works multiple times so you can easily go back and forth in your um, extents or visible extents here. Then there is the zoom full function that takes all the layers here and you will automatically zoom to all the layers available. Furthermore, there is the option to, of course, zoom to a certain set of features. So let's go to the rivers, open up the attribute table, and you can see that I've already created a subset. And let's do another just random subset here. You'll find similar um, views here. There's this pan map to the selected rows, which is just, just we, will, we will keep the current zoom level and just slide the map to the current selection. And there's the option to zoom map to the selected row. So let's go back again, make, make this a really small extent here. 
nothing similar so nothing really is to see let's use this function and this is the accept same thing we will zoom and pan to the current selection so everything is in the view and you can see everything you need to see there we have seen this functionality here with this button as well zoom to selection so once again i will just try go here down somewhere random two lakes and the road and just go to zoom to the selection and we are back again that's it a short lesson number 2.3 see you in the next module creating a basic map map uh, module number three is it see you soon bye